We're cleaning this place up right thanks to you. You fucker. Shoot a ram. Oh. He's right fucking there. Oh. 
Let's get bloody, motherfucker! Welcome, brother. Make yourself at home. There's every penny. What's not the love? The holler gets stronger with every gun you bring. Don't doubt that. How about sending some new bars? Gotta unload some of this cash in the hollow. I'm running low. Can you send supplies to Delray Hollow? I'll hit your way now. Be careful. Can I take off your hands? See anything you better not lose this. Guess our business is done here. Show me what you got. Don't
I'm out of here. Watch out! Just watch what you're doing this time. Watch it. That's what I said. <laughs> My daddy won't be home for dinner tonight. Or any other. <laughs> Fat ass fucking. In Santa Barbara, California today. Militant Negro student seized the classroom building, holding it until their demands were met. University officials agreed to hire more Negro athletic coaches, more Negro professors, and more Negro representatives in the administration.
Pardon me. Hey! Watch it.
that asshole. Oh, Jesus, he's dead. Ugh! <laughs> 
Tell me everything about Santini's smuggling racket. Mr. Santini's been doing some small-time gun sales. I, I know where he's been stashing the money. Here on out, I call the shots. I want to unload some cash, Buck. Requesting a supply run to Barclay Mills. I'll head your way now. if you need me. Question a supply run to Barclay Mills. I'll head your way now. Everything you see is for sale.
Santini's business. Yeah, He's gonna be moving guns anytime me. soon. <laughs> God damn, you make an impression, boy. Didn't mean no offense by that. Listen, it's not setting well with Santini that people think they don't have to pay for protection. And it sounds like no one trusts him to deliver on gun deals like usual. Imagine that's got him pretty pissed off. <laughs> got him, Enzo, and Marcano looking weak. Going over to the train yard. Santini's there now trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do. Been fun, Connie. Keep it tucked up out there. <laughs> if you don't get to Santini, Marcano will. Might as well put the poor bastard out of his misery. You stopped a lot of money from changing hands by breaking up Santini's little gun sale. Kind of feeling like the moral yeah, of the story these days me. is keeping your eyes as low to the ground me. as possible. You hear me? You, hear you better me. see where he went. Last evening, Negro youths ran wild in Washington, D.C., committing brazen acts of vandalism. A police car was hit with rocks, and windows were shattered on each street. Earlier that evening, five policemen and three civilians were hired, following a concert by James Brown. Six people were arrested in connection with that outbreak. Shooters to hit a target Let's in Barclay. You got it. We'll be around you shortly. Make some poor choices in your life.
Looks like that cat turned pussy. here for you and those weapons you're bringing in. How about it? Not how I expected this to turn out. Welcome aboard. Send whoever you can to Barclay Mills. I ain't letting this place go. Help is on the way. 
The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Expected. This was a mistake. I don't want any trouble. Someone told me you work at the dump, that you might have information for me. Now, your name's Maria, right? Mm-hmm. Maria Bava. I've only been at the dump a couple of months. Accounts receivable. I know. Glamorous. Paul Simmons runs the place. Everybody calls him Puppy, though. You've got to stop him. Stop him from doing what? Dumping waste in the bay, extorting drivers from other garbage companies, but that's... That's not the worst thing they're doing, is it? Mister, they're killing people. Puppy... <sighs> Mr. Simmons doesn't know how to keep his boys down on the phone, but he was arguing with one of the... cleaners, kept saying how they'd been paid to get rid of somebody. You know when these cleaners will be around? No, but some of the other guys who work for the dump might. I'll chase down information on these cleaners, along with the rest of the dump's business. It's gonna be all right, Maria. You did the right thing. Some of Mr. Simmons' people might know more about the illegal dumping... ...and the bodies. I hate this. I hate feeling like I'm snitching. Like... ...like I'm betraying the people I work with. I keep hearing Mr. Simmons works for someone else. An older guy. Enzo something. I just tried not to pay attention, but when I heard they were beating drivers for other waste disposal companies, I had to say something. I always got along with Mr. Simmons. Who knew he was such a bad man? When this is over, I hope I can find another job.
politician. You've uh, really got poor Frankie in a bit of hot water over at the bathhouse. Sorry, shitty pun. <laughs> because of you, Tony D'Arazio is having a hard time controlling the city's politicos. So he's ordered Frankie to keep an eye on the Imperial. It's a third strike, you're dead situation. How do you think you'll handle old Frankie? That's all up to him. Hey, I could tag along, my camera's in the car, and... You want to dig up more dirt for your rag, you do it on your own time. I ain't gonna drag your libelous ass all over town. I get it. I get it. Be seeing you. If you kill Bernard, be sure to let me know what happened, okay? Did you see any of the stuff in Frankie's blackmail materials? Some of this is... wow. Target downtown. Help me out. Of course. Be there soon. Guess it's easier to get rid of my hair than to get rid of your shitty radio from Washington. Gotcha. There he is. Let's go. I shit fine. All units in the suspect is extremely dangerous. Additional units on route. Run! Run! Send me a crew shooters downtown. Of course. Be there soon. You can have them when I'm done.
that shit's all him. Let's go. I got this. It's all him. Let's go. I see. Ooh. I got a bead on him from the side. Taking cover. Over there. Shoot him for fuck's sake. Cut you a bloody grin! Taking cover! Our blood's going down! Expand your clientele, Frankie. Think you can handle that? <laughs> sure. Tony D's not gonna like this, though. Let me worry about the Razio. Send whoever you got downtown. We gotta secure while we can. My men can secure this district with one eye closed. That's not a problem. The problem will come if you try to take it away from us at our next sit down. I become a priest. Every bad thing you experience, every trauma, they they never leave you. Sure, you might forget about them for a while, but when the next one comes along. No matter how slight, it brings everything back. It reminds you of the weight you've been lugging around. I knew I couldn't carry all that on my own. Can't they take those damn butcher shop commercials off the air now? The guy's stone. How are you, sir? Just wanted to say, my mother would be so proud of me and everything we're doing here. I owe that to you, Mr. Clay.
like Barbieri split, but those stupid radio commercials of his are here to stay. City, Tommy Smith won the gold medal, and teammate John Carlos won the bronze in the 200 meter sprint. Get in. I gotta be How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long have you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Oh, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donnie, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. From there, Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel.
Get the cops in downtown off me. Gotcha. with the motherfucker your own size. <laughs> this here's how I stay in your miserable life. downtown and about ready for a resupply. Be out directly. Gotta unload some bread in downtown. Hold your horses, I'll get to you. You spot anything you can use? Your money's always safer with me, Chef. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men, and they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid all he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Clear on out of here. Oh my god! Oh the fuck's making that We sense. got ourselves a gas!
for me, cocksucker! Taking cover! Fuck, you done. Spotted him this way. Ain't no way you're getting past here, boy. Oh, you done.
the fuck? They are audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel. I think you know how all this is going to play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> The streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel.
cut that sack of shit down. Sorry. Everybody, get down! Slip behind him! We are, lad. Looking forward to seeing where this shite goes. This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? Listen here. You put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. That ain't exactly true. Because doling out pieces of the city is a hell of a lot bigger deal than having a couple of meatheads lock down some action. All I'm saying. First time hearing of any action in this part of the city, which is fine, but it don't change my stance that this turf ought to come to me. You trusted me this far, Lankin. No sense changing course now. There's only one smart play here. Partner. We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. Trust ain't something that comes easy to me, kid. You know I can handle this. The Haitians will run this part of the city. All right. I'll make sure our people are coordinating things between the holler and here. That's the way you see it, fine. But I'll be looking for the next district to come my way. As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. 
Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp ten grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. That Cassandra really buffaloed you, didn't she? Fucking lunatics. Every last one. More territory for Cassandra? She does seem to have the organizational sense to keep the Haitians in line. Let's see what she can do with Marcano's old territory. Vito's probably grateful about getting River Row back, but you should watch him. Old school mob guys like him, they're always looking for an angle. Harold Colley's crawled out of the woodwork with intel about Uncle Lou's sex rackets in the French ward. Go see what that little cockroach has to say. Keep chipping away at him. Sal will fuck up. Hear about the protests in Berkeley? <laughs> Commie assholes. Should ship their asses over to Hanoi if they're so gung-ho about it. Local businessman Anthony Durazio was murdered today when an unknown suspect stormed his residence at the Royal Hotel. Witnesses at the scene saw Durazio fall from the window of his penthouse apartment. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Police have declined to say whether or not they have any leads or a name for the suspect in the case.
to five button up bullshit grind. What's it get you? Well, if no, it isn't my favorite local newsmaker. Carly, assume you're still publishing that rag of yours. If it bleeds, it leads. And with you out there doing what you're doing, Christ, can't print copies fast enough. You have something for me? Whores. You want high-end whores in the French ward? You go to Handsome Harry Rubber Show, Lou Marcano's hand-picked man. Probably a safe bet that Lou funnels all his VIPs Harry's way. You like to fuck? Harry's the man you want to see. He's got it all covered. Hookers on the corner, porno shoots, and if you got the money, he'll let you live out your sickest fantasies. Usually a good idea to cut off the big money first. Hurt an asshole like Harry right out of the gate. <laughs> I can see the headlines now. New Bordeaux's Blue Bloods cotton sex scandal. Or maybe the city's dark, perverted heart. I'll see what kind of information I can get out of Harry's people about the operation and the high rollers. The fellas running horse for Handsome Harry will know what he's up to. It's hard to believe Handsome Harry's been able to control so much of the prostitution in the French ward without anyone making a move against them. By all accounts, folks like Handsome Harry. The customers, most of the girls. I think it's the moral flexibility. When you're done with this whole mission of death of yours, we should really talk. You can tell me your story. Sex and nudity? Call off, repeat, abandon, search, return to patrol. 
French war. Think I could stash a little dope? Be there soon. What can I take off your hands? On my way. Call me if you need me. There he is. Let's go. Where you think you're going? Well, you're a brave one. <laughs> 